Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. Always so pleased to have this time together. I look forward to sharing this time in the Word of God with uh, whoever happens to be listening at the time. My prayer is that you are being blessed, that you are growing in your relationship with God, or if you don't know Him yet, that you're learning things about God that are making you want to have a relationship with him. I know he wants to have a relationship with all of us, and that's why we go to him in prayer as we begin our studies. Uh, Join me in prayer, if you will. Heavenly Father, it's such a joy to know that you gave us your word, the Bible, to study it so that we could come to know you, that we could know your traits, we could know about you, we could know who you are. And today, Lord, as we study, we're so grateful that you promised you'd give us the Holy Spirit that would guide us into all truth. And Lord, you promised by your Spirit that you'd give us the power to live according to that truth. And so, Lord, we rely upon you today, Lord. We rely upon your word, and we are so looking forward to what you have for us today. We bless you, we thank you for your word, and we do so in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Faith and Love. It's taken from the book of Colossians, chapter 1 and verse 4. As Paul the Apostle continued his opening remarks to the church located in Colossae, he thanked God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and was praying always for them. In chapter 1 and verse 4 of his letter to the Colossians, we learn two of the reasons for Paul's prayer, and thanks, where we read, Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love which you have to all the saints. The verse begins, Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus. Paul employed the words, Since we heard, which means Paul was told of them from an outside source. We learn in a few verses about the church's pastor, Epaphras, who more than likely gave Paul the report of their faith, which means of a conviction or belief respecting man's relationship to God and divine things, generally with uh, the including the idea of trust and holy fervor born of faith and joined with it in Christ Jesus. No doubt when Paul heard of the, their faith in Jesus, He was pleased to thank God and pray for the Colossians. The verse goes on to say, And of the love which you have to all the saints. The second trait Paul heard about uh, concerning the church in Colossae was their love, which is the word agape, and in Greek means affection, goodwill, love, benevolence, brotherly love, and unconditional love. This unselfish love that Paul heard they have to all the saints, or to all the believers in Jesus Christ. This was easily prayed for and commended, but even more easy to thank God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. As we ponder these words, we may wonder if others hear about our faith in Christ Jesus and our love toward all the saints. Do others know we believe in Jesus? Do they know how much we love all the saints? The reports of the church in Colossae came to Paul, and he was told about the church members' faith and love. This motivated him to pray for the church and to give thanks to God for them. Perhaps we we may look at it from another angle. Do we hear of others' faith and love and become motivated to give thanks to God by praying for them? Let us be reminded that Paul the Apostle was sitting within a Roman prison at this time, and he may have wondered what his purpose was for being there. However, because he was incarcerated, we may now have faith in Christ Jesus and love to all the saints at the inspiration of his words. May the Lord help us to know the circumstances in which we find ourselves may be for the benefit of the faith and love of others we don't even know yet. Next time, Paul will share about the hope within the church of Colossae. So read ahead, and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.